Find the sample size n needed to estimate the percentage of adults who have consulted fortune tellers. Use a 0.08 margin of error and a confidence level of 90%. Results from a prior poll suggest that 11% of adults have consulted fortune tellers. Round up to the nearest integer. And here you see the formula that we will use to find n, the necessary sample size, in the formula, we have the z subscript alpha divided by 2, which is the critical value, e, the margin of error, p hat, and q hat are gotten from the results from the prior study. In our problem, we see that e is 0 0.08. We see that p hat is 0 0.11, which is 11% as a decimal, and q hat will be 0.89, or 89%, 1 minus p hat. Z subscript alpha divided by 2 is the critical value, and Z subscript alpha divided by 2 is dependent on the level of confidence, which is in this case 90%. We will find Z subscript alpha divided by 2 using the TI-83, and going to the TI-83, we'll put in 1 minus 0.90, 1 minus the level of confidence, which gives us alpha, which is in this case 0.1 or 10%. Alpha divided by 2 is therefore 5%. To find the Z subscript alpha divided by 2, we'll put in the alpha divided by 2 of 5% into the inverse normal function. Going to second distribution, and then the number 3, we have the inverse normal function, into which we'll put 0 0.05, and we see that the z subscript alpha divided by 2, which is the critical value, a z-score, is given as a negative 1.64. However, we will take the critical value to be positive as an answer, and we'll round it to two decimal places. So using 1.64 as our z subscript alpha divided by 2, and inputting the different values into our formula, we'll start with a parenthesis, then 1.64, then divided by the margin of error, which is 0 0.08, or 8%, close the parentheses, then the x squared, squaring that quantity. Now we'll multiply that by 11%.11, which is p hat, and then multiply that by q hat, which is 1 minus p hat of 0.89. And when we hit enter, we see that the number that we get is 41.14. Our directions in the problem tell us not to round off, but instead to round up, so that the the answer will be the number 42. That is the sample size necessary to estimate the percentage of adults who have consulted fortune tellers 